How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and in this video I'm going to share with you a stew I made with pheasant and if you didn't see the hunt that I was on where I was able to harvest this pheasant with my recurve bow, I'll put a link for that in the description section of this video. But for now, let me go over the ingredients and how I put this stew together. So I lined up my ingredients here and I'll just kind of go through them from right to left. Uh, one little can of sour cream. I actually have two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Uh, there's one behind this one that, where you can see it. Now I used Thrive Life products for some of these other ingredients. Obviously you could buy them fresh or use Thrive Life products if you want. I'll put a link for that in the description section of the video. But I used onion, broccoli, mushrooms. Now I, I bought three potatoes, but after I cut up two, I realized that was more than enough for this stew. And I used some carrots that I had on hand. Again, you could use Thrive Life carrots or you could buy carrots or use your own from your garden. And down on the left there, that's the actual pheasant. So we harvested the breast and the leg and thighs off of the pheasant for this particular stew. To begin, I cubed up the breast meat into little chunks for the stew and I put that in the pot. I just left the legs and the thighs whole and added them in. I also put the two cans of the cream of mushroom soup in and although I prefer to not use canned products just because of preservatives, I just, because that was the easiest in this situation, that's what I used. But you got to make sure you also add the necessary water with that and stir it up well. In this case, I added the container of sour cream before I did the actual stirring with the soup stock as well. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to use the broccoli is because, you know, in a stew, you can get every, everything can just be white. And I wanted a little color, a little flavor, um, also more nutrition. And I personally like using the Thrive Life because it's, it's a freeze-dried product. So it's dried out, but it's picked at its peak ripeness and being that it's freeze-dried you can actually crush it up into little pieces which is actually really nice i like to have it kind of refined in there uh, you can buy fresh broccoli and chop it up small or however you want to do it but i used the thrive life and crushed it up i also used some of the thrive life mushrooms and added those i diced up the potatoes into the little cubes out of those after of course washing the outside because with the red potatoes you just leave the skin on I kind of like that some people don't dump some carrots in there in this situation um, we were going to church in the evening for an evening mass and I was going to slow cook it in the crock pot all day but we just didn't have the timing wasn't working out for some of the things we had going on so I did it in the instapot and I cooked it for 35 minutes in the instapot and it stays pretty warm in there. So I cooked it to its completion before we left for church. And we were gone for probably eh, close to two hours by the time we got home. But it stayed warm in the pot and I unplugged it and everything. Just because we, we like to try to not leave stuff running like that while we're away. Just so there's no emergencies. And as soon as we got home, of course I said a quick grace um, before I took a bite. But uh, before getting... You know, the kids going crazy. Um, I took a couple bites and I got to tell you, it was actually amazing. And I had never made pheasant stew before. So I just was keeping it simple and I really was not sure how it was going to turn out, but it was so good. Now, um, the meat, you might be wondering, what did the meat taste like? The meat took on the flavor of the stew. Like I really didn't sense an independent flavor to the meat, the breast meat. The leg and thighs, they carried through a little bit of their own flavor. I'm sure there's people that would probably say it's kind of tastes like chicken. I wouldn't say it tastes like I didn't associate it with biting into a chicken leg, the immediate flavor, but it, was a, it wasn't a strong flavor because I guess the stew had really um, done a lot to season it up a little bit. It was really good and my kids devoured it. I mean, we really slammed it. Even my wife. Now, my wife didn't grow up in the outdoorsy stuff. She's a little cautious with trying any like game that I bring home, but she also really liked it. So if you're trying to, if you want to try like a pheasant stew or even you could add, you know, supplement other things into this type of stew, it's simple and it's really good. 
and you kind of salt and pepper it to your own taste. I didn't add salt and pepper to the whole mix so that people could do it to their liking. And I didn't feel the need to add any myself. Like I, I'm a fairly simple kind of guy. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of salt, but just the way it was, I thought it was great. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to use any of the Thrive Life products when you're doing a, a stew or something like this, there's a link for that um, in the description section. And because of the way it's set up, I do get um, some benefit if you purchase those products. They do give me a little compensation and it helps support my channel. And um, I, in the meantime, thanks so much for tuning in to this episode. I can't wait to get pheasant again so that I can make this stew again. Until next time, take care and God bless.